Hello, I'm Andy Colthorpe. Crossway in Kent, England is the first retrospectively awarded passive house in the UK. It was featured on Grand Designs, a popular UK home design TV show, and is both a labour of love and a demonstration project for Richard Hawkes, the architect who designed and lives in Crossway with his family. The building combines numerous energy efficiency and renewable energy projects, including PV thermal and a ground mount PV array, which probably makes it an appropriate place to test and demonstrate what a lithium ion battery based energy storage system can do. As the first installation of Chinese manufacturer Rene Solar's battery system in a UK residence, it is also by default one of the first UK residential installs of a solar plus storage battery system. We took the opportunity to speak with Richard and with Rene Solar technical support engineer Joe van Wyck, who, along with his camera shy electrician friend Kalen, fitted and connected the battery. This is the first um, residential lithium ion battery system that Rene Solar UK uh, is installing. We've, we've been working with Richard Hawkes um, from Hawkes Architectures on this project because um, Crossways is such a good test bed for us. The house has been designed uh, with um, you know, sustainability in mind and with, with energy efficiency in mind. The system we're fitting here today is uh, Rennie Solar RTB3000, which is a lithium ion uh, three kilowatt uh, battery system. Um, and it's designed to be a grid integrated battery storage system. It uh, allows input from both the AC side on the grid as well as a DC input from solar PV. Basically how it works is that the, the battery system has got an intelligent controller to optimise the charge or the load control depending on the, on the setting that you've set it to. Um, and it then stores energy in the battery to allow um, the use of electricity in uh, a time when the sun is not shining or when um, electricity has been imported from the grid at a lower rate uh, or lower tariff uh, to be used later. There are only a few passive houses in the country. Of those, this is the best performing one. Of those, this is the first one to have been completed and it's, the first, it's been monitored from day one. Every resource, you know, every, literally everything, I even measure the amount of diesel and petrol that go in the cars and they go into spreadsheets so we can convert that into kilowatt hours and CO2. So uh -huh. we can literally relate our whole energy consumption of every resource we consume. On a day like today, sun's out all day, we're out of work, all that energy's just disappearing off to the grid. We're getting paid for it, which is great, mm -hmm. but we kind of thought to ourselves, well, rather than coming home in the, in the evening, cooking dinner, watching TV, turning the lights on, and using electricity off the grid, if we could somehow store what we've used and generated here and use it at night, uh, we've got double bubble because we get paid for the energy we generate anyway and we wouldn't have to pay for electricity off the grid. So we kind of thought batteries have got to be the way forward. If you can generate on site and use on site, holistically that is the best thing to do. So the battery system is a massive step towards that and we, from the monitoring, we anticipate that we should be able to make ourselves completely grid independent at least from April through to September mm -hmm. and probably a lot of March and October as well. What we're doing at the moment is we are um, installing the battery system in line on, onto the grid supply and what it basically does is it, it can either take power from the grid uh, to store in the batteries or back feed power to the grid when there's a surplus of either solar energy or battery storage available. It's actually quite simple to install. Um, it's designed so that you have clearly marked terminals for AC input, AC output and then the DC input from, from the PV. You have a touchscreen interface on the front of the battery system which allows the user to control the um, operating regime. It can either be in a save energy mode or a PV priority mode. Uh, can also run as a UPS or an un uninterruptible power supply. It allows the user almost full control of how the energy that is either generated on site or imported from the grid is being used. And the idea is to minimize the consumption of grid uh, or of grid energy and to try and optimize um, self-consumption, self-generation. A lot of people say oh, it was great generating all the solar but um, 
what's the point of generating all the solar when it's only doing it during the daytime when we use electricity at night? It's like, yeah, but at the moment, most people's electricity that runs their house is still coming from a nuclear or a coal-fired power station. And you think, that is crazy when there's all this sun. So personally, I think you know, the solar industry needs to expand because we have got the sun and we're increasingly getting more sun with climate change, etc., etc. So hotter summers, get more sun, grab more of that sun and use it. But if we can store it, and if you can store it house by house, then our independence from the, the problems of the national grid, the surges you get, the risks of blackouts, etc., it helps that whole scenario, and it does make everything more holistic. The system has a built-in um, monitor uh, which logs data, which is also displayed on the touchscreen in one of the sub-menus. Um, that data can then be downloaded or, or get onto a, an Excel spreadsheet so we can, we can track it uh, for a year uh, or for, for however long the machine has been operating. And that's valuable data to us in order to, to monitor the, the import and export of energy. It's quite crucial to us to understand how, um, how this will change uh, a typical household's uh, energy use. Um, it, it gives us a good gauge as to how consumers out there will be able to um, monitor, control and, and, and take control of, of their, their energy generation uh, con and consumption. Um, the, whole, the whole purpose and, and, and the green home philosophy behind Rene Solar is to um, get products out there that, that allows, um, I won't call it off-grid living, but it allows people to be more sustainable in, in, in especially the energy uh, control and, and distribution inside their houses. So, the battery has been fitted and it will be interesting to see how architect Richard and his family get along with it and how Rene Solar evaluates its performance. So far, only Germany and Japan have really looked at moving residential battery storage on at the top level with support schemes in place. But the discussion here in England and elsewhere looks to finally be getting underway with early projects like this one. For more on energy storage, starting with the area where it combines with solar, visit the PV Tech storage site. And for more on the Passive House project and other distributed energy issues, visit our new UK focus site, Next Energy News. Thanks for watching.